Okay, I'm pretty busy today, so I'm going to make this quick. Uh, these are my finds for today, Saturday. Went to a town wide in Hasbrook Heights. Uh, look how many sales we went to. I would say, and that's cross off with black, I would say we went to about 80% of all the sales, near 100 sales. Found very little. Uh, like I said, spent 234. Uh, I'm going to do the games quick. Okay, in terms of games, it looks like I have a real uh, great DS score here, right? But no, every single one of these cases is empty. I bought them anyway. So Brain Edge, whatever, empty, I Spy Universe, Word Fish, nothing in it, Cars, Super Mario Brothers, empty, empty, Hot Wheels, Battles, Ninja, Lego, empty, Scribble Knots, empty, Kirby, Mass Effect, whatever, Mass Attack, empty, My Sims, just completely empty, Brain Age 2, empty, Mario versus Donkey Kong, Mini Mayhem, empty, Lego Battles, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time, empty, empty, Pokemon Ranger, Shadows of Al Alma, empty, and Club Penguin, all empty. 50 cents a piece, what I paid for them, I will use the cases. Uh, bought this, it's sealed, new, three bucks, doesn't connect. This was three dollars, Epic Mickey, uh, here's a, looks like a 360 AV. Five dollars, I bought an incomplete uh, an N NES with a Q-Bert. It comes with a controller and an AV. Don't know if it works. Whatever. Uh, $2. I bought this. I'm going to give this straight to my friend. This is like from the, I think the late 80s or, or early 90s. Uh, I saw the date before. I don't remember, but it's a Sega Virtual. Um, whatever. Okay. Continuing with games. I got an incomplete Sega Genesis for like $15 with these games. I need an AV. It's a Sega one. And I need a, a controller. Can't for two. Well, for 15, uh, and included these these games: a Sonic 2 complete, a, a Monopoly, and a Caesar's Palace complete. Uh, not very exciting. No big deal. Basically, for a buck a piece, I bought like a and a bunch of CDs. Uh, some a few of them were 50 cents. This was 10 dollars for the set. It's sealed, but the plastic is coming off. But it's still sealed. Bunch of rock, whatever. Nothing very exciting there. For ten dollars, I bought this is a Ralph Lauren Safari um, set. Um, whatever, ten bucks. I think I paid three to five dollars for this. That's the other perfume I got. Um, hard plastic, uh, Halloween stuff. These are collectible. I don't know what I'll get from. One's missing a little bit of the top. Bought a Pyrex uh, covered dish, two bucks. Uh, I'll do the jewelry in a second. I, like I said, I'm going fast. This is really nice. It's signed on the bottom. I don't know who the signature is. Can't make it out now. But it, I did not notice it has a little edge chip uh, that will decrease the value. And I don't know what to do with it. Here's another piece, uh, another Pyrex bowl set I got. I don't know what that's called. I'll probably mark that like 25 I think I paid like uh, $5 for the set. Um, Lucite. They told me these were $0.50. Cents, so I gave them a buck for the two. Uh, the name on that is... Clear float or fleet, one millimeter. C L E A R F L O A T. Lucite, whatever. Uh, clear float is what they're calling those. Uh, got an art of a cartooning flash book, and then a, a book of photography. And I think that covers everything but the jewelry. Like I said, I'm fast today. This is it. Got these two paintings for $6. Same artist. Ugh. It looks like S A L F. I have no clue. I'll check the other one. See what it says. Just leave it on there for a second. Oh, S O L F V I N. S O L F V I N M. I don't believe this is a famous artist. The stylings of the painting, while nice, uh, are not. They're not amazing or anything. It's it's just like your run of the mill art. So even if the artist is good, I don't think it'll have any considerable value. All right, here's the jewelry. This is a, a mix of silver. Uh, it's gold filled. I paid five dollars for all this, and there's a there's like a an ID bracelet that'll pay for it all. Some of it, other it was silver, but there's nothing special here. Uh, there might have been, uh, yeah, a little. There's a teeny bit of gold mix in here, but I don't really know what, what we got. That's gold. Um, this my wife likes these. This is gold filled. This is a uh, faceted crystal. This has a name on it. I don't recognize the name right away, but it's you know whatever. Um, these are plastic. This is uh, faceted. Uh, this is whatever it is. I don't know. Here's a little ring. Probably uh, whatever. I, I can talk about this for a second. These are Lucinda pins, house pins. They have no real value if listed individually. I can't sell them at the flea markets. But if you get like 10 of them or 5 of them, you can lot them on eBay and they sell for like maybe 5 bucks a piece. So uh, if you have 
eight of them, that's 40 bucks. Okay, uh, this is like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, embroidery pin. Uh, these are Carol Lee. There's a couple of sets here. There's this set and then this set. Um, a vintage close A bead bracelet. These black beads have gold beads. Um, this is onyx with, with uh, gold uh, beads in there. Um, this is just a gold tone um, necklace, kind of chocolate. This copper stuff my wife likes this. She says she can get like 10 bucks for this. Uh, this is crystal. I think we paid two bucks for this. Uh, it says made with uh, Swarovski elements. Um, I think this might be gold, this teeny weeny little chain. This is obviously silver. These are probably silver. Uh, nothing amazing. This is 14 karat gold plated. That's just like a watch, quartz, whatever. Uh, enamel flower pin. My wife sells it for like six to eight dollars. That's the chain for that. Crystal pin. Um, I don't know what this. This has like a w silver looking uh, thing. Maybe it's it's. I don't know. This is like a nice old pin. We're gonna have to look, take a good look at that one. See, it's got like uh, black onyx or something. Um, Weiss. Not Weiss, just a crystal pin. This is probably silver. That's a mate to the Weiss. I don't know what these are made out of. Um, maybe these teeny ones are gold. Beats me. Uh, this is just pretty looking. And then there's some teeny things. Maybe they're gold. You know, it's probably gold. Uh, these look silver, but they're not. And I don't know what that is. Um, that's it. That's everything. Like I said, I'm in a rush today. Tomorrow we're going to Columbus Farmer's Market. Big flea market. Hopefully I'll do good. I didn't do well when I went there last. Oh, I almost forgot this. 70 skateboard. Uh, this is a Nash. And it's orange. Uh, uh, that's all I know about that. Um, supposedly, in better condition, that would probably be worth, like, maybe 50 bucks or so. I don't know. I'm going to try and get 10 bucks. Uh, that's it. That's everything. Uh, going to Columbus tomorrow. So, wish me luck.